I think it's impactful, especially for undergraduate students, to see a relatively young woman in front of a classroom and teaching them technical content. I realize that at OSU, there are quite a few women faculty in the College of Engineering, and I'm certainly not the first female professor that they've had. But when I teach junior and senior level classes, I need them to trust me. Just because the person in front of the classroom isn't your stereotypical engineering professor doesn't mean that they don't know what they're talking about or don't have really rich experience to talk to you about. It's been really male-dominated and, you know, of a particular shade, if you will, over the years. Now it's starting to change, and it's awesome. I mean, I've gone to some of the dean's meetings, and I'm looking around the table, and it's like, wow, it's, it's half women in this group. I don't know, the first six years or so, I was the only female person in the program. You kind of break that barrier a little bit, and then you wedge it, wedge the door open, and then you make it easier for, for people with a, a wider variety of experience to come in and to be valued. The help and support that I got from other professors and staff has helped me a lot. Also because I had the space to grow in maybe not exactly the same way that other professors. Because we are all a little bit different and even our research is a little bit different. So I think there is also some thought by the administration that not every professor will have exactly the same path. I think I'm thriving here because people support my career and me as a person on every level. So whether that's as a teacher, there's excellent teaching support and there's people in my unit who actually research how to teach effectively for engineering. In terms of research, I think we have a great research support office and everyone is really interested in working together and combining resources to make the most of what they can, uh, whether that be in applying for grants or really driving science. And then as a person, I feel like the college is really supportive of people as a whole, whether that be including their families or particular personal needs. It makes a big difference having that welcoming environment where everyone is, is really eager to help you and genuinely curious about how things are going. That's something which makes every day a, a treasure. In my role, I feel like I've got such an impact in the college in terms of fixing things that might need attention or creating opportunity that might, might come through a faculty member or a school head who has a great idea, but they need somebody at the college to open the path or help them strategize. I hope the students see me as a role model for somebody who has been able to start from scratch I have created a whole new research area. I have created collaborations across the world. I'm the president of the Magnetic Society in a 14 year span. And I think that hopefully is a success story for students to say that, yes, it can be done. Engineering has a very direct impact that what was a concept takes you to an application which impacts human life, whether it's you know in medicine or in technology that we use on an everyday basis. That's what is the most rewarding part to me as an engineer. I was broadly interested in energy problems. I think it's something that compels me on a helping people level, uh, helping people and helping the environment. And I also really like surfaces and interfaces. They intrigue me because everything falls apart at them. So everything acts differently, they're hard to probe, but also drive a lot of fascinating chemistry in our world and the applications of energy. Uh, so these are things like a hydrogen fuel cell. This is a way that you can take renewable energy, store it, and then use it on demand to get electricity back. I am excited every day by the work we get to do here. My work specifically is in engineering design for renewable energy and for sustainability in products and systems. So the work that we do has these real world ramifications. You know, students are really interested in solving climate change and help mitigating lots of other concerns related to 
power generation and fossil fuel use and how we use products and throw them away. I am able to rely on my students to do good work and to seek out what's next and to really drive the direction of their own research. And that's been really, really rewarding. The thing that I'm more excited about is working with students. Both on the undergraduate, I love teaching, I love the class, and seeing that aha moment when they figure out that something that I explain makes sense in their minds. And also working with graduate students and doing my research and seeing how we are doing something that will add to knowledge, but at the same time will help them in their lives and their goals for the future. I always loved coming into, into classes where I was teaching both engineers and, and scientists and giving problems that were nuanced and complex and no clear-cut right answer and saying, this is a real-world problem, you know, figure it out. Because very rarely are things nice and cut and dried, you know, a single formula is going to give you the answer and, and off you go. My job has always been exciting to me when I can have a positive impact that I can see happening. Oftentimes is a positive impact for students or it might be for other faculty. And so I get that in spades in my current position. 